Ladies and gentlemen, welcome. I'm Death Rebub. This is a God Roll Guide with the last man standing. It's time. I figured we all, while I was doing my part on Mars to slay all the things, I would give the uh, the old last man standing the God Roll treatment. So what I like to do in my God Roll Guide videos is just talk about the gun, talk about the perks I like on it, show you the one that I have, and then talk about what I like for PvE and PvP. Basically, just you know, run down what I like, what's good, brother. All right, what? What? Ah. Okay, okay. Apparently, I deserve that emblem. So let's take a look at my uh, oh my last man standing. It took a while to get it, guys. It took it took a long time actually to get it, but I got the one two punch uh, two days ago. Two days ago, I've got a small bore, small bore. Uh, light mag, extended mag, full choke, threat detector, one-two punch. We'll talk about one-two punch in just a minute, but look what I also got. Like this. This right here. One-two punch grave robber. Basically synergy at its best. With assault mag, small bore, corkscrew, extended mag, stability masterwork. We'll talk about all those in just a minute. But let's talk about what you can actually get on this gun. And what to look for. So the curated roll is actually kind of crap, I think. Full auto auto-loading holster. I mean, you'll be shooting it a lot, but you're still gonna have to be in people's grills, having fun, smooth bore, salt mag. Not, not too crazy about this curated roll. And you can only get it from uh, tier three reckoning the boss, I think swords, the swords. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm pretty sure that's how you get it. Uh, I've gotten it to drop, it drops from Gambit Prime bounties, it drops from Gambit Prime, and it drops from reckoning. I've gotten it to drop all three places. So you can find it anywhere in those places. Uh, what you can get on it, though, you can get rifle barrel if you want range, uh, smooth bore if you want range. <laughs> and this one reduces handling, so I actually go with smooth bore. Uh, more projectile spread, though. For actually for this gun, I think projectile spread is a bad thing. Uh, small bore gives you range and stability. Barrel shroud stability handling. I'd actually go with barrel shroud. Uh, corkscrew rifling would be good, and full choke's not bad. Um, I think mine. I don't. I don't. I know these make a difference, but. You know, really, I'm concerned with this one-two punch. Uh, assault mag, appended mag, tactile mag, extended mag, steady rounds, accurized rounds, and light mag are your options there. I like assault mag because of the stability situation. It actually increases your RPM, which is nice. Uh, grave robber, threat detector, opening shot, auto-loading holster, field prep, rampage, one-two punch, swashbuckler, hip fire, demolitionist. So, I've actually had a lot of fun with a demo demolitionist build running a uh, grenade geared uh, warlock. So that's not that's not something to think badly about. But if I was going for the PvE god roll, it's the one I just showed you. Assault mag, grave robber, one two punch. And uh, let's take a look at why I like that so much. If I was going PvP with this, I would choose a different shotgun. Uh, essentially, it's not really gonna be that great for you. I think I just disappeared. Let's see if we get a one two punch. Hi. Would you like a... Nope, you're dead. Hi. Would you like a one-two punch? Hi. Mm. Dead. <laughs> like, all the way. Let's get choking blade a little bit. Like, doing massive damage. Massive damage to the choking blade. I want to, uh... Yep, yep, yep. Huh? Yeah? Hold on, let me glad this out real quick. Like, I am... I'm wrecking this guy right now. So let's go get a kill, and I'll show you why I like Grave Robber. No? No? No kill from Grave Robber? Hold on. Let me check. I don't believe you. Oh, I'm running my threat detector. Oh, rip. <laughs> Talking about the one I want to run and not getting to actually run it. Anyway, Grave Robber, when you melee, will get them kills. And it'll fill those magazines. Uh, so it's kind of if you're running against a boss uh, one two punch isn't going to do as much but if you're running against mobs like this where you think maybe the punch might kill them uh, grave robber will put that mag back in there basically one two punch and uh, grave robber work amazingly well together mm. littler enemies it's harder to get one two punch off uh, bosses and bigger elites it's going to be much easier uh, it's not just a one two punch video because I've had a lot of fun with uh, other roles like demolitionist uh, it's a good PvE gun if you like shotguns in close range situations. Uh, one two punch is the role right now because you can get a hunter with liar's handshake, go in and go crazy. I have not, I've done it, but it's not, it's not, I'm not trying to once, you know, one man riven or anything like that. So I haven't needed it. And they're about to patch it out. So 
uh, buff stacking will no longer be a thing. But as far as PvE goes, I don't know how you get much better than this if you want one-two punch. Uh, basically, one-two punch is the opposite of trench barrel. You get a shotgun hit to get a strong punch, whereas trench barrel is you punch to get a strong shotgun you know, impact. But what do you guys think? What's your guide roll on this gun? If you're doing PvP with it, I mean, we can switch back over there and look at the PvP roll. I'd go, uh, opening shot and uh, hip fire grip. Probably what I'd do for PvP if I was going to go PvE with it, or PvP with it. But I mainly think it's a PvP gun, or PvE gun. If you're PvPing, if you're crucibling with it, uh, let me know why and let me know what your roll on it is. Oh, don't have any more ammo. So, I am Death or Above. This is a guide roll guide with me. Let me know what you think. What other guns you want me to take a look at? And uh, what's your god roll on this gun? Let me know in the comments. But until then, until next time, I'm Death or Above, and I'll see you later.